Nano Banana Pro just released and it's genuinely insane when you use it the right way. But here is the thing, most people are using it completely wrong, which is why they're not getting the results that they keep seeing on social media. If you use it this specific way, it stops being just another AI image model and turns into a full creative engine where you could create unlimited visuals, unlimited edits, and even full cinematic videos all from a single photo. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the best way to use Nano Banana Pro right now so you could finally unlock what it's actually capable of. All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to be using FreePick as our creative platform. This is going to be crucial if we actually want to generate some amazing AI creative images and videos using not only Nano Banana Pro, but all of these different image generation models that integrate directly into this platform. So let me quickly show you an example of something I made in just a couple of prompts. I took this image right here of this girl, I actually created this with FreePick, this image right here. And I created this image as well, this end frame, which is basically a zoomed out shot of that exact same image that I showed you. And I created this cinematic video with it using FreePick. And I'm gonna show you how you can start doing things like this in this video. So first of all, let me just talk about what FreePick is. So FreePick is a platform that has a bunch of different AI image models, video generation models, and a bunch of different workflows we could use along with templates for us to create the best AI creative videos and images. There are honestly so many features when it comes to FreePick. So in this video, I'm gonna try to focus on a couple that we could begin using right now. First things first, I'm gonna come over to Image Generator and this is where we're able to generate our images with Nano Banana Pro and all these other image models here. So if I wanna use Nano Banana Pro, I could just come here and select Nano Banana Pro. Pro. And there's a couple things I want to mention. We have different styles that we can pick from, which will basically emulate this style when we try to generate our image. For example, we want to make this oil painting styled image here, and I want to upload a photo. I could essentially upload any photo that I have here, either type in a prompt and change this image, or just say recreate this in oil painting style. Recreate this image for me in this oil painting style. Keep everything the exact same. So a couple things I want to mention here. So we could change multiple things. We could change the aspect ratio. So basically changes the width and how tall a specific image is. For example, I could do widescreen, I could do nine by 16, which is something you'd see on Instagram stories or an Instagram reel, for example. I'm just gonna do one by one here and we could also upload a character if we wanted. I'm gonna show you later in this video how you could upload your own character so you could generate images of yourself. One other thing we could do is we could change the resolution here. So I'm gonna say 4K image and we could generate as many images as we want. I'm just gonna stick with one for now and I'm gonna click on generate. All right, so while that's doing its thing, I do wanna mention one thing. Depending on what free pick plan you have, you get unlimited image generations. So I'm using the premium plus plan, which is $39 per month. So in this video, you'll see me generate as many images as I want. And that is because I'm on that plan. And if you're planning to use Nano Banana in these other image generation models seriously, this is a really good bang for your buck when it comes to how many images you can create for $39 per month. All right, and just like that, we have this oil salad painting here. It fits this reference style almost exactly. So let me show you some other use cases now. One of my favorite features inside of FreePick and why this is so much different than just using Nano Banana inside of Gemini, because you can select this auto model here. So instead of us using Nano Banana 2 or Sea Dream 4K, it will literally suggest and pick which model is best based on the prompt that we give it. Because if we take a look here, these different image models are good at specific things. So if I come to Google, Google Nano Banana Pro is good at next level multi-image generation and editing. So if I wanna generate a bunch of different images and I wanna edit images, Nano Banana Pro is good for that. However, for example, Sea Dream 4 4K is another image model that is taking the world by storm right now. And this one is really good for 4K image references and strong aesthetics. And if you are not somebody that knows the nitty gritty of these image models, it could be really hard for you decide which one is best for your specific use case because they make a really big difference. I usually just click auto here and it will select the best model for me. So let me go ahead and find a style that I want to recreate. So I saved a couple here. I really like this clean stills one. So let me take that and I'm just going to write in my prompt here. I had ChatGPT help me with this prompt. So if you ever need help, just go to ChatGPT and basically just say, help me enhance this prompt and it will take
take your basic prompt to one that is much more specific for pre-pick to actually generate this image for you. Next up, I'm gonna change my aspect ratio. I'm gonna set this one as three by four for traditional, and then I'm gonna generate four images here so I have more to choose from. That is the great thing with using free pick. You could generate as many images as you'd like, which makes it much more easy because sometimes when you're using these AI image models, they're not super consistent. So generating multiple at once makes this whole process so much more seamless for you. All right, so I got all of these different images. So let me go ahead and make an edit to one of these. So there are a couple things I can do with this image. I could upscale it to make it higher quality. I could create a video from this. I could add it to a video project. I can then save this as a style or use it as a reference. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this edit image feature. And then I could basically describe the change I wanna make to this. And notice it is using Google Nano Banana Pro 4K here because that is the best model when it comes to making edits to a pre-existing image that we have. We also have these buttons down here where we could restyle the image we can remove the background for example and make adjustments to it and just change the color if we would like i'm just going to stick with that prompt and i'm going to let that run now all right so here we go you can see that this image is now zoomed out more it's the exact same character in the exact same position everything about this looks consistent you can see it actually added these buildings in the background now and added some you know different things here so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this edit button again and what i could do is i could actually add text to this i want to create a similar style to this having like text overlay like this and let me see if i could go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm gonna use this prompt here that basically says add text that says creativity awaits. I give it the exact style of text and font that I wanna use because, you know, again, you need to be really specific with what prompts you're gonna use when using Nano Banana Pro or any image model, for example. So I'm gonna send that off and let's see what it generates for us. All right, so here we go. We now have that creativity awaits text on the screen. And what I could do here, and again, why I love free pick is we could instantly turn this into a video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here. We have this start image. I could add an end frame if I wanted to. And I'm basically basically just going to add this prompt. So wide shot of a lone figure standing in the middle of a wet city. And again, it's gonna use this image as that start frame, and then we'll generate a video based on that. And basically just cars are gonna be driving by. I'm gonna click on generate and then see what it gives us. All right, so here we go. Here's the video. You can see that it's slowly panning to the right. The cars are driving by. The water is splashing because it is a wet street because in the original image, we told it to you know add water on the street as if it were raining to create this aesthetic we were going for. All right, so another amazing way that FreePick can help with your creative process when using tools like Nano Banana or other image generation models is this new thing they have called spaces. So think of this as an interactive canvas. As you can see here, I uploaded all these these images of myself as a reference and I generated all of these images. Basically, I just tried to create a business profile shot since I don't have any professional images of me that I could use for like LinkedIn or for whatever use case. You could see this one. That one's pretty solid. And this is just a different way to interact with, um, you know, our creative tools that we have inside of FreePick here. All right, so here is a perfect example of this. I have this reference image of myself, and basically the point of this right here is to try on different clothes and see what I look like in different clothes. And for example, this right here was generated in Sea Dream for 4K, and then this image generation node right here, I chose Google Nano Banana Pro so I could test and see which image model looks better if I wanna generate multiple of these. And again, remember in FreePick, image generation, if you use the $39 per month plan and it's unlimited. So let me just go ahead and click run and it's gonna actually generate this in Nano Banana Pro now. And here's another example. If I wanna see, see myself in this suit here, I could just select this and then I connect this image of myself and I could generate multiple. Let's just generate four of them to see what it looks like. So this is a great way for us to generate multiple images at scale here. So I could generate lots of images just from one single prompt and one run of this workflow here. And you could get really creative. Again, you could actually turn these into generated videos if we want from these images. All right, so right here it has me wearing this cowboy's jacket and we could simply just download this right here or we could change the resolution. So let me just change that to 4K. And then here are the four generated images of me actually wearing this suit. That is pretty funny. Some of these look pretty solid. And again, this is why this is so powerful inside of Prepick because not all the images generated with Nano Banana or these other AI 
image models are good. So it's nice to be able to pick and choose from the ones that are good and the ones that are bad. All right, so there we go. This image is now 4K. I could download this right here. I just click the export button and let's take a look at the quality of this. That is super good quality. I mean, that is super sharp. It's a 4K image here. Looks exactly like me and looks exactly like that uh, jacket that I wanted to actually try on. And you could actually sort through the multiple images that you generate right here. And we could then just click on this and edit our image further if we want to. So guys, there we have it. That is how to use Nano Banana and different image generation tools inside of FreePick. I really hope this tutorial was helpful. There are honestly so many different things you could do inside of this platform. So if you're an AI creative or want to get into the AI creative industry, this is the perfect platform to be able to do this. And I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with a bunch of different use cases. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Without further ado, guys, thank you for staying to the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.